Good evening and welcome to yet another Wednesday. And I tell you, it's action all across board, not just in the EPL. Of course, you already know the Bundesliga also is Little Litty with football action. But allow me to first off introduce myself, Okoraji Chidoze Jephthah, be my name. And I say welcome. Call me over those, the man with a plan, the one God chose. And I say good evening to you and yours. It's football on the front burner. So much to talk about as far as football is concerned. So sad, but then again, always a legend, Sergio Cunaguero, earlier today announcing his retirement from football due to a heart condition. You get to hear from Martin Tyler. Yes, because he was the man that gave that Aguero moment. And definitely one of the iconic moments in the EPL+. Plus, there is a question Arsenal fans are asking. Is the Arsenal Amban cursed? Well, we'll definitely be talking about that following the accent of Pierre. America Pomayank as captain of Arsenal, plus a whole lot more. But well, first off, let me make welcome the man who is my strike partner from now to 8.45. I am brownish in the beauty. How you doing? I'm doing absolutely fantastic. You fantastic. Know, this hmm. is a, it's, I was here early in the morning <laughs> with Sarafina Napoleon, okay. and then we had this conversation about Arsenal and how mm -hmm. and how that uh, armband basically uh, was given to Pierre Yeah, it, it, it guarantees that the conversation that we're, the conversations we're going to be having now because your Aguero thing also directly affects me personally. Hmm. Uh, but I really, really feel because like of a Barcelona connection. connection. Yeah, hmm. so I, I, um, I kind of thought as much. Yeah, yeah so yeah. Um, I'm really interested in what's going to be going down, and y'all already know where we come hmm. on the. Michael, but this one, I we about to be <laughs> dropping the bars, keeping the energy one. They don't know. They yeah, don't know. They don't know. They don't it's know. about to go down. You Let's better go. tell them, brother. You better tell. I don't know why I'm sounding like all this. <laughs> you better tell them. Let them know. I not mean, me. I'm, I'm in that head zone, so let's go. Let's <laughs> all go. right, he's in it. Head zone. But first off, let me tell you that it's already one goal to nil as far as the Bundesliga is concerned. Borussia Mönchengladbach are taking no prisoners as they already have a goal in their fixture against Frankfurt. Right then, the Bundesliga Nehaus was the man who altered the scoreline as early as the sixth minute. It's 39 minutes gone. And, of course, you already know, it's six more minutes to the end of the first half. Augsburg, Leipzig, Bayer Leverkusen, Hoffenheim also as well. And not forgetting Dortmund, Greater Fourth. We're talking about Dortmund. And, of course, uh, you already know that they have quite a series of injuries in their ranks. Manuel Akonji will not be on offer today. Giovanni Reina as well. And, of course, uh, the likes of Danny Malin and Guerrero are also doubtful for that fixture. But, hey, you definitely will want to put your money on Dortmund to actually nick it, especially when you look at the fact that they have a certain Ellenbrot Haaland. And right now, they're second on the German Bundesliga lock, just behind Bayern Munich. But, hey, nine points. Ah, that's quite huge. But, anyways... um. Union Berlin and Freiburg will be in action for 8.30 p.m. And that's guaranteed. But then again, uh, let's start off the conversation without further ado from the camp of Arsenal. Already there are talks uh, that, you know, the man called Mikel Arteta is yet to actually announce who the next captain will be. But I know Arsenal fans will surely be asking the question as to whether or not that uh, uh, Arsenal armband, the captain's armband, whether or not it is cursed. Well, Arsenal fans will be forgiven for concluding that way, especially with the news of Pierre Merrick Aubameyang being stripped of the captaincy after reporting back late for club duty following a trip to France. Another Gunners keeper has unceremoniously bitten the dust. It is a ruthless move by Mikel Arteta based not only on this latest indiscretion but existing doubts about whether the Gabon striker was actually the right man to lead the club. And a further sign of the friction between the player and coach, Aubameyang won't even be considered for selection tonight when Arsenal host West Ham, and that will be in the EPL. Aubameyang follows William Gallas, Granit Xhaka in having the captaincy taken away from them. And remember, he had three strikes. Three strikes. The first was February this year. With the country in lockdown, Obama was filmed posing with a new tattoo alongside a tattoo artist. Arsenal investigated the incident to find out if lockdown rules had been breached but kept their findings in-house. With Ateta saying, whatever we do with our players, we'll keep it internally. Hmm. Then, a second strike 
March this year, Aubameyang was left on the bench for the North London debut due to lateness. He was going to start a game, Ateta said. We had a disciplinary issue. We have drawn the line and we move on. He is on the bench. And this latest one, having returned from a pre-approved trip to France but returned late to visit his ill mother, Aubameyang has lost the captain's armband at Arsenal and his future has now been thrown into major doubt. But he's not the first. William Gallas definitely wore the armband, but of course, we all know what happened. Cesc Fabregas, Granit Xhaka, giving the middle finger, you recall, against Crystal Palace when he was subbed off and the Arsenal fans were booing. And then you also look at Robin van Persie, captain of Arsenal, but forcing a move to Man United. And you begin to wonder, is the Arsenal Amber cost? Talk to us right here. 0700 993 993 993. What do you think? Do you think it's really cursed or do you think it's a personal thing? Brownish, I'll start with you. That's for certain. Looking at Per America Bomayang, the latest in a long line of Arsenal captains to have been deemed uh, not fit enough to lead the club and stripped of the captaincy. What do you make of that? But uh, personally, I feel like uh, Premier Kobamiang in the first place was never really a. He was never really captain material. Wow, um, really? Yeah. Um, ah. I feel like some players okay. have great runs of game. Hmm. You know, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to survive the best as a captain okay. in the team. Yeah. It was a very young team, but mm -hmm. um, I think Alexander Lacazette was more suited to being a captain than Premier Kobamiang. Hmm. Why do I think so? Because first off, attitude on the pitch. Okay. Secondly, when you look at their interactions with the players, hmm. you know, Alexander Lacazette could be having a very terrible run, but he puts in 100% every single game. I don't think Lacazette disappears as much as Aubameyang does during games, and then he's always always on the, trying on the front foot. He's harrowing defenders, you know, he's always um, giving 110%. I feel like that's something that players can look up to even when you're not having i think even your character is tested even when you're especially when you're not having a good run of games and when obamiang is not having a good run of games he doesn't necessarily show all that as you that fighting spirit mm -hmm. that in the arsenal mm -hmm. um the younger players need to be able to emulate so um that's one thing on one side on the other side i feel like um it might not necessarily be a curse. Perhaps oh. whoever chooses these captains doesn't necessarily isn't a very good judge of character hmm. because um, it's consistent in the sense that um, Granit Xhaka he has attitude issues. Um, there's there's a certain there's a certain kind of um, of gravity of maturity that you don't see in Granit Xhaka that you probably when you think of people like Fernandinho when you think of Cesar Spliqueta you know um when when you even think of Harry Maguire you know these are people who have been captains and I feel like actually deserve to be captains because mm. they are leaders both on and off the pitch so it's a lot that's been going that actually can go on here in uh, what they call it uh, in Arsenal and I feel like it might just be as a result of bad judge of character perhaps Arsenal are more interested in 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 the performances of the players uh, than they are in the general thought process of how exactly uh, the captain should behave hmm. and should act when it comes to uh, different situations perhaps nobody's actually um, nobody's sitting down to make these decisions I hope that the next person that picks up the armband isn't cursed with it because <laughs> it looks like Aubameyang was having a great time at Arsenal until he got the, uh, the armband and then all of a sudden uh, he can't seem to score goals even when they're right in front of him so um, unfortunately it might just be a it might be a confidence thing but I don't really think uh, that Arsenal usually pick the kind, right kind of players uh, I don't did they have this problem back when they were they were the invisibles oh. I don't think they did it might just be that uh, after a while um, they just maybe after um um this man, Arsene Wenger, left, then all of a sudden it was a problem to actually see who and who would best fit into the Arsenal setup as the captain and be that leadership figure uh, that they all needed. All right, so now you know it's all about things going down big time, and one of them has to be the Arsenal captaincy. Is it really cursed? Do you think so? Tell us what you think. 0700 993 993 993. Oh my goodness, the phone lines already blazing hot, and of course, all I see is green. The phone is green. It's green. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go. Let's go. And, of course, uh, let's find out who is on the other side. Hello. Good evening to you. Welcome. Uh, good evening. Yeah. How are you doing? Okay. My name is Ndubisi. Ndubisi. <laughs> uh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, for... 
first of all, I don't think to be mentioned whether it is cause. Mm. Yeah, that's my, that's my captain. I don't think it's a very good question because uh, to relate that cause with captaincy of a club, uh, I don't think it's something good. Well, it's not about what you think. It's about what the fans are saying. They feel that the armband is cursed and it's because of the fact that every time they appoint a captain, he tends to do something that either makes them send him out or, you know, take the captaincy off him. I miracle Obama, Obama Young is past his peak. Hmm. He's no longer the person that uh, Asma signed uh, 2001 from Dortmund. He has, he has gone down. He's playing... Prowess it has gone down. It cannot perform any anymore the way he used to perform. So it's, it's not happened to. It's nothing to do with the captaincy. He's hmm. it's 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 becoming an old player. Right. So I don't think he have anything to do with that. He give the captaincy to that young man that is in the post. Uh, what do they call him? Aaron Ramsdale. Yes, the goalkeeper. He will perform very well. And wow. give it to the same guy, the other, your colleague mentioned, which is uh, Lacazette. Alexander is, Lacazette, okay. Yes. Hmm. This, uh, this guy can never be serious. Whether he's losing or he's not losing, he's still laughing like a, like a, or they call him. So. <laughs> all right, then. Thank you so, so much. And of course, it's all about Pierre America Bomang. Is it all about the player? Or do you think that whoever is made as no captain? I mean, you look at Granny Chaka. Chaka was also made captain. But then again, we already know what happened. We know what happened in the end. Of course, the middle finger and all. And you begin to wonder what is happening. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Hello, good evening. Baby. Hi, good evening. What's up? My, my name is Steven, sir. Steven, where are you calling from? I'm All right, Steven from Abulegba. Let's hear you. Go on. Baby, me. And uh, Captain Dan of Vision asking this thing is a cost. Because <laughs> anybody that wears it, maybe that he will lose for as the way I do my hand is doing. But this thing is a cost. I cannot find to find a solution for that Captain Dan Bank before it can get out of hand. Thank mm. you very much. All right. Thank you so, so much. Now let's look at William Gallas. Remember 2007, 2008, uh, the fans who had doubts when Gallas was picked as Henry's successor were proven right when the friend defender threw a wobbly after a 12 draw at Birmingham that dented Arsenal's title hopes. In a tempestuous match, striker Eduardo had broken his leg following a tackle by Martin Taylor and James McFadden converted the late penalty considered by Gil Clichy. When the penalty was awarded, Gallas walked into the Birmingham half in apparent protest, kicked advertising hoardings in fury, and when it was when he went in after the final whistle and simply sat at the center circle in a sulk until Asen Wenger came to retrieve him. Wow. What about Cesc Fabregas? Only 21. Fabregas became Arsenal's second youngest ever captain when he replaced Gallas. Almost immediately, he was ruled out for four months with a knee injury. Wow. <laughs> then came Robin Van Persie. 2011-2012. In another appointment that turned out to be a bit awkward, um, Robin Van Persie succeeded Fabregas. More experienced, already vice-captain and a reliable goal scorer. He was more comfortable, but then again... Being captain did not slow him down, but I can tell you that Arsenal finished third and he rejected a new Arsenal contract uh, just after that, moving to Man United. Thomas Vermeulen is another one and the list goes on and on and on. Then, of course, for Lorian Koscieny. Remember Arsenal fans? Um, yeah, Lorian Koscieny, the Frenchman, uh, returned to the Arsenal side, but... Wenger made way for Unai Emery and the armband was passed to the man talking about Noria Koscieny replacing Per Metesaka. But Emery wanted to do things slightly differently and democratized the captaincy, making a leadership group which also featured Peter Cech, Ramsey, Ozil and Xhaka. Now, part of the reason for that was Koscieny missed most of the first half of the season with an Achilles tendon rupture. The Frenchman did eventually return to the side, but Arsenal could only finish fifth and were trashed by Chelsea in the Europa League final. Then, as has become familiar, 
Everything went south with Koscielny refusing to travel on Arsenal's preseason tour of the United States in order to force through a move to Bordeaux. The list goes on, Brownish. It's just like whoever inherits the captaincy tends to either miss out due to injury or just do something that will infuriate the manager and he says, you know what, I'm not reliable. Uh, you're not reliable. I'm not relying on you anymore as being captain. Actually, I feel like uh, a lot is um, the Arsenal job itself is sort of a problem. So, if you had to look at the squad now, who do you think should be given the captain's number now that Obama has been stripped? <laughs> yeah, so after everything you read, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, wait, no, you're like, already laughing. Okay. So, after everything you read, yeah, I had two people in mind. Okay. The first person was um, Alexander Lacazette, mm. the second person was Gabriel Mega Hayes. Not Emil Smith Rowe? No, definitely not. I hmm. feel like that would be a bit disrespectful to the older people in the Martin Odegaard? Mm, certainly not. Bukayo Saka. No. no. <laughs> now now back to what I was saying, okay. right? So after okay. all this thing that you read, yeah. I feel more strongly that hmm. it's going to be Alexander Lacazette. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> because first off, mm -hmm. given the way things are, if the captains like if for example, Without the captain's armband being cursed, mm. I feel like Alexander Lacazette is the man who's primed for the job. If it's cursed, on the other hand, you don't want to give it to a young player who's going to be carrying that curse up and down <laughs> on his head. Secondly, mm. if you give it to Gabriel Miguel Hayes and it is actually cursed, Arsenal don't need any more curses in their midfield, in their defense. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about that when we return from this break. We're going for a break right now. Zeta is calling. When we come back, more right here on Game On.